Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things cryptid related, unknown, paranormal. I'm your host, Parker. And guys, welcome back to another Demon Days. We're going to be talking about different demons, starting off with the demons of the Goetia. And guys, we're already on our 32nd demon. We're like, we have 40 left after this. It's absolutely insane. We're going to be talking about, like I said, our 32nd demon. He's also our fifth king, and I am very excited to be talking about him. Also, please forgive me, my allergies are acting up. I kind of have a cough. <clears throat> but this is him right here, King Asmodeus. He is very, very cool. I've been looking forward to this video for a little bit. So now I'm going to show you guys the sigil. If you guys don't want to see a sigil, skip a little bit ahead in the video when the sigil is not on the screen. So this right here is a sigil. It looks very cool. I kind of like the ridges here with the bumps on. I like, I like the tail. I just think it's a very cool sigil. Now I was talking with one of my friends the other night, right? And they said how it kind of looks like if you look at it from a specific angle the the straight line going down the middle with the kind of that looks like the letter i almost looks like legs spread open the two eyes in the middle look like some kind of opening the tail that's going in the opening well you can make out what that is pretty much and then the arch itself with the bumps on it looks like an entity putting its in a you know in another entity which actually fits very, very well for Asmodeus, and we will explain why, but I love this sigil. It's very, very cool. <clears throat> now let's talk about Asmodeus a little bit. He's depicted as a man with three heads, one being of a man, another of a bull, and another of a ram. He also has webbed feet with the tail of a serpent, and he spews fire from his mouth, and he is also holding a lance with a banner on it, and he is also riding a dragon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we see that in this artwork right here from the Dictionary Infernal, of course, written by Colin DePlancy. Um, you see he's got the web feet. He's got the bull head. He's got the ram head. He's got the human head. He's riding the dragon with the wings. He's got the web feet. The web feet. You can see the tail and the stuff coming out of his mouth. That's the fire that he spews. And it's just very, very cool. I love this artwork of Asmodeus. Every time I think of Asmodeus, I always think of this artwork just because it's very, very cool. I always love the Dictionary Infernal art. It's so nice. He controls 72 legions of demons. He will not deny who he is if asked, Art thou Asmodee? Um, he teaches arithmetic, which is probably really good because I am horrible at math. He teaches astronomy. He teaches geometry, and geometry was my very worst subject in high school. I barely passed that. He teaches all handicrafts, which is very, very cool. Now, I'm not sure what it means by handicrafts, but let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. He gives true and full answers to those who ask. He shows the conjurer where treasures are, and he guards them. He helps you pick up on people's interest in you. He helps increase your libido. And if... And if any of my underage viewers are watching this, um, don't ask your parents what libido is. <coughs> oh my god, allergies. But don't ask your parents what libido is. Um, don't Google it either. Just You'll find out when you're older. That's all I can say. He helps make you look more attractive to other people. He creates incubi and succubi, which if you don't know what those are, I will do like a whole Demon Days about them after I finish the, Go the Goetia at some point, because I have some others that I want to cover first after that. But they are essentially incubi are male, succubi are female, and they are pretty much sex demons that try to have sex with you in your sleep. He helps makes, make the conjurer stronger, both physically and mentally. He does not get along with Michael the Archangel at all. Him and Michael the Archangel, they do not get together well. But if the Conjurer is working with Michael and Asmodeus and he needs help from both of them, they'll kind of like begrudgingly like put their differences aside and work together to help out. So he does not get along with them though, really, at all. And he's not a huge fan of water because of something that King Solomon did when he summoned him. He pretty much kind of like tortured him by making him like hold water and everything in buckets and he and it was not good he did not like that and he does not like water um he helps you boost confidence in yourself so if you have like low confidence like low self-esteem he can help boost that up get you back to where you need to be um 
and he is the demon of lust. So, I know you guys, a lot of you guys are probably has been hotel fans out there. So that one song, um, he is actually the king of lust, the demon of lust. He rules, and lust is one of the seven deadly sins, and that is his. And he's also the demon of wrath as well. He's he's very wrathful at times as well because he does have the title of Satan. And Satan means adversary, and not and not all demons have that title, but he has that title. Um, it's very very cool. Um, his personality is strict. He's also very gentle. He cares about you. He's stern. He's very very very. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. He's very blunt. And he has a great sense of humor, honestly. He loves messing with people from time to time. Um, but he is very to the point with things. He's strict and stern, but he also really does care. And he can be gentle when, when he needs to be. His tarot is the Six of Swords. His element is air. His zodiac is Aquarius. His dates are January 30th to February 8th. His color is yellow. His direction is east, his planet is the sun, his metal is gold, and his incense is frankincense. Now, he was now he was summoned by King Solomon, like I said, and um, Asmodeus, he has, he has, like, just to kind of give you a little, t like, what his personality is like, um, when King Solomon summoned him, um, Solomon asked, and who, he said, asked, who art thou? And then, um, Asmodeus just kind of looked at him, just kind of like squinted and was like, and who art thou? Just, <laughs> just to kind of give you a, a little taste of what his personality is like. Um, I don't know. It's just funny. And I love sharing that little tidbit of info with people. He is very, very cool. Very, very fun. Um, he is intimidating at times, but he is very, very very good overall he really wants to help you and help you better yourself that's pretty much what he is all about and he is not afraid to show you aspects of yourself that you are not proud of to help you overcome those and better yourself in the long run he is very very good to work with in that regard so with that being said guys that is all that i have about asmodeus so if you guys like this video, be sure to that like button. You can dislike it. If you dislike it, comment below, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up this Thursday, which is absolutely insane. So I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate it, um, I hope you have a great, safe day regardless. Um, let me see what else I have to say. Um... Work has been scheduling me really, really hard lately, really hard lately, and really bad hours, and it's just been, it's been stressful. So that is why there have not been as many uploads. That is pretty much why I've just kind of sucked the demon days for a little bit. Um, I'm in the process of looking for a new job right now. Everything's just kind of, kind of, just kind of gone to shit at my job, and just really stressful. So I've been just kind of using a lot of the spare time that I have. Uh, for me, which is why I haven't done a lot of cryptid ratings lately or mythical menageries, and I apologize for that, but I will get back to them here at some point very, very soon. Um, I just gotta try to find a new job or just try to get a little more free time under my belt. So, with that being said, guys, um, excuse me. <coughs> Jeez, I, I hate allergies. Um, it's, yeah, no, just the weather changing always makes me kind of, my sinuses get messed up, I start coughing, it's not good. Um, but, yeah, I'm, it's not COVID, so that's good at least. I just gotta deal with this cough for a little bit, though. But, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, become a member of the Crypto Crew today, and hit that bell notification so you guys can be aware when I upload new videos, like next Monday I will be uploading a video about our 33rd demon, Prince Gap, and I hope you guys are looking forward to that as much as I am. So with that being said, guys, you've been watching CryptoCast. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, and I will see you guys in the next Demon Days.
Take care, guys. Bye.